how he works. And we've also got these new perks too. See how these work. So that's how he sounds. I heard something over there. Is that him doing his thing? Yeah, it is. Okay, did he leave a patrol guy, I wonder? Okay, if I hit that, I get to see him, don't I? If he had a great skill check. So I can store all this energy if I wanted. There we go. Now I get to see him. There he is. Okay, interesting. I've got one other thing as well. It's good for free gens. Yeah, I can imagine. If you had like a whole team with this and they all just stored it, that seems kind of strong. Wait, what is that? Do you see their aura? What? That's so weird. I don't know if I agree with that. You can see their range. That'll make sense to me. Okay, he has dead man. That's so stupid. You should not see their range. The fuck? No wonder I had to play the way I had to play, because you could just literally see their range and just avoid it. That's why I was having to spawn it on top of them so they couldn't avoid it. I don't think that should be shown. Wait, what is that? You see them when they're fucking spawning the guys as well. What? So, you see when he's using the ability to... I thought that was invisible. Oh, God. I was doing way better than... Wow. I thought I had so much better stuff. So I thought it was going to be invisible and I didn't realize they'd be able to see your detection radius. These, these fucking survivors, man, I swear, they're, they're bloody gods. Absolute gods. There he is. I haven't stored any energy. I don't need to. If you store it, it gets rid of it from the gen, right? Yeah, I don't need to do that yet. I, I need to do that when we're in a bad situation. So, so you can see when he's going into his thing. You can look behind and see where he's going. Oof. Huh, I don't like that. It should be invisible, no? Because it's not a guarantee hit, it just puts someone in chase. Wow, I was doing way better than I thought I were. Hmm. One gen left. There he is. Hmm. 
I, I can't believe that was crazy. I, I weren't expecting that at all. Okay, I'm going to store just to see. Ah, I see. Uh, I see. Okay. Wait, how's that look as an animation? I can't see now. Oh, he has a... What's it called? Blood favor. Interesting. With an antelope killer. No, I were fucking weird too, so... Yeah, there he is, look. You see it. How strange. <laughs> and then you can run away when you see him do it. I thought you saw like a tell. Or you made a tell when he put the uh, sword down. But no, no. You just see, you just see him do the green thing. Huh. <laughs> there it is. Oh. Nice. Did it just at the right time. Yeah, I don't know. You don't get to tell you the whole story, yeah. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, I, I guess I was right then. Um, the way you play him is you literally spawn them on top of survivors so they can't react. You can bait, bait it out as well, no? Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know why they've gone such an easy tell. They need to hunt them, move to take range, also make him uh, use the power a bit faster, maybe. The thing is, there'll be a lot of people playing this guy right now in PTB on live servers versus complete potatoes. And they will be dominating. And there will be a video upon video saying of how OP the killer is. The new nurse. Blah, blah, blah. So, you know, it gets lost in translation kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's hard for people to know the reality of situations. Because it's just easier saying this is OP. It gets you lots of fucking views. Um, but it, it misleads people, right? But it's very easy to kind of mislead people. Especially when there's no MMR in a PTB. So... Expect that, guys. Which I should can get killers nerfed, by the way. Luckily, we go against more smarter players, so we can get more of an idea of how the killers actually play. It's cool. I just don't know why it shows the green. I want him to actually use this thing. Because I don't know what it looks like. Look at that! That's well easy! What? <laughs> How are I hitting people with that? What the fuck? <laughs> How are I hitting people with that? Dude. I would do better than I thought. <laughs> what? You literally need to be right on top of them. What I was doing is I was going in front of them. Wow, how the fuck are I hitting people? Oof, that's rough. Well, we'll, we'll see. He, he has potential, but he definitely needs some little tweaks here and there, I think. Like, I think the visual... Like, the devs are obsessed with just holding their hands, right? And just telling you everything the killer's doing. 
because then no counterplay, right? You've got no counterplay if you don't know exactly what the killer's doing. Bullshit. Uh, command, grab uh, characters in fighting games have counterplay and you can't see what they're going to do. You have to make reads. Um, yeah, if they keep all that visual stuff, it's only going to get worse for him, I think. Personally, but we'll see. I kind of want one of the things to chase me, but it's so easy to avoid the green thing that I didn't. Like, they have a massive radius, so you can see the, the like, line of sight. And you can see when he's teleporting and whereabouts he's placing them. God. Uh, I didn't really have fun trying to learn a killer on this map. Oh, yeah. Um, it is a... Uh, it is quite a strong map, that. I, did we pick that one accidentally? Uh, Frost. Um, I can't believe I could see your green um, aura line where you're planting someone and the detection range of your troops. Like, I could literally just, like, dodge them. I said of my game, ah. Oh. The way I was playing was better. Well, I've had experience, you haven't, so. Oh yeah, whoops. Um, we will carry this on tomorrow anyway. Um, we'll, we'll do some more tests with him, etc. But yeah, it's kind of rough. Um, I don't know, I don't know how I feel. I, I guess we'll see tomorrow. I, I, I 